Two months ago, Chris decided that he wanted to become an AWS developer, took a Udemy course, booked his exam, and managed to pass first try. He's now certified developer and is ready for the big bucks. But after several months of continuous rejections, he realizes that he must have made a mistake somewhere along the way. If you're set on becoming an AWS dev and don't want to face this same fate as Chris, I've got the solution for you. This approach will give you the best chance to crush it at interviews and get a job as an AWS developer. To really understand this approach, we need to first understand the hiring process from a company's perspective. They need to hire someone because they want to grow their business and they need skilled developers to do that. If they think that you don't have the skills that they need, then you won't get the job, simple as that. But don't AWS certs give you skills? Yes, they definitely do, but are they the right skills? Let's imagine I want to join the circus and I want to be a fire spinner. I have two real choices. I can study the theory behind Firepoint and learn a load of related tasks, or I can actually practice using Firepoint. When I go to interview at the circus, I'll have different skills and experience depending on the route I've gone down. If I chose to do theory, then I'll know all the different chemicals I can use, how to calculate burn time, and how to light the poi. These are all skills, but are they skills that I need to be able to perform in the circus? Whereas if I went with real practice, I'll know some of the same things, such as how to light the poi. I'll also know how to get the poi swinging, how to get them spinning, and how they react as the fire is spinning around my head, which is actually surprisingly loud as the fire whooshes through the air. If you are enjoying this uh, extra little stunt, then make sure to like the video. And if you can think of any other cool or interesting stunts I could do for a YouTube video, then let me know in the comments below. Where Chris went wrong is that he passed his exam and started applying for jobs straight away thinking he was ready. Unfortunately, AWS certified does not mean you're qualified to be an AWS developer. It's just like being able to answer questions about fire doesn't make you a fire spinner. Now we know how a company thinks, we know that we have to demonstrate that we have the right skills that will help a company grow. At this point, some people might say, why not get your certs first and then focus on practice later? This sounds great, but you're learning loads of things you honestly don't really need. Say you study full time and it takes you three months to get certified. If you only need actually a third of that knowledge, you've just wasted two months of your life. Focusing on practical experience first means that 100% of what you're doing is gonna be useful for your later job. And then you can go and top up any specific areas with extra theory when you need it. A lot of my students have also said it's far easier to understand the advanced theory concepts once they have some experience to relate back to. Some of you may have already worked out where my approach is going to be focused, and that is practical project experience. Use the tools and the services you will be using in your future job. If you don't know what kinds of tools and services, then you need to research your target job more and there's a linked video in the description which helps you to do just that. What project to build? I recommend starting with a nice simple project and building up. Add new services or a new pattern with each project, making sure that you're always going back and practicing those core skills. Which exact projects you build depends on the tools and services you need to learn, and what your target job is. If you want to become a data scientist, then you need to do some data analysis projects. If you want to become a serverless developer, then I actually already have a video here where I show you seven projects you can use to learn the skills and gain the experience you need.